What's up YouTube, Wayne here, back at it again with another unboxing for you. Stay tuned, hit that like button, and let's get into it. YouTube, welcome to 2022 i'm so happy to be in a new year with you guys i actually got sick couldn't do any videos it was crazy um but i've been collecting these for a while and i finally got the last one then the last one was miguel diaz and leonardo um, best buy had some of them target had some of them but i went and grabbed them all these are similar to the um the other playmates turtles that i got the brock and bebop two pack but these are pretty cool i actually like the way these things look um i like the articulation on the figures um from the other playmate set so let me get these open for you guys in five four three two wow okay okay now the thing that these figures give me hope with is I'll get all four turtles and the rest of these because I was afraid Playmates won't release these. So I have right now Leonardo Rocksteady and Michelangelo Bebop. So Raphael and Charlie Tom and Donatello and Shredder are available because they use the same exact mold as this for these. As you can see, Leonardo has the same smirk and the same face it's just it's painted blue and painted uh well painted blue and, and it has eye dots and the weapons are painted so the weapons here are painted black now the most contradicting thing about these guys here <laughs> is they all have the tur turtle symbol on them right but they study karate and this is ninjutsu so Japanese art, karate is more of an American form of martial art. Um, the military uses it. Uh, a lot of, I mean, if you watched It Man or anything like that, you could see there was a big thing back in the 70s and 80, early 80s about which style was better. And Jin Kun Do, this is the time of Bruce Lee, Jin Kun Do was just like dominating. It's like, hey, look, this is, this is my style. This is this is the Western style. This is this is the best thing, right? So they wouldn't really be studying or fighting together, but that's just you know some small tidbit there. Um, if I'm wrong, you can correct me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure about that. Um, so let's get to the figures. So these figures are basically the same exact thing. They just painted the weapons black, solid black. So I'm so happy that these will, the rest of those will be coming out because I have those on my shelf. Um, ugh. One thing they did get right is these things are sticky, sticky. If we if we get in close on them right here, let's talk more about the the civilians here, not the turtles. Let's talk about John Kreese here. It's a very very basic figure. It looks a little bit like him. It's missing his eyeshadow. I swear he wears eyeshadow in the show. I don't know why I feel that way, but he, I think he wears eyeshadow. The, the other weird thing about it is, is you got Daniel LaRusso, you got John Kreese, and you got, uh, what is this dude's name? Oh, man. Uh, Johnny Lawrence, yeah, Johnny Lawrence. You got Johnny Lawrence, and then you got Miguel. So you got a teenager and three adults. But the show's not technically about, it's, 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 it's more about Johnny Lawrence, the, uh, the Cobra Kai show. But it's not technically about Daniel. It's not technically about John Kreese. It's about the new age of Cobra Kai. So it'd have been cool to get teenagers with the teenage mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, that would make a lot more sense to me. But, you know, you got you gotta sell it. You gotta sell it. You gotta have the the karate kid himself with the Miyagi Do, Dogi on. You gotta sell it with John Kreese right there. John Kreese, he came in, in season two, right? I can understand Johnny Lawrence, and I can even understand him, but maybe have one 
one of each and then a student, one of each student. Maybe have um, Johnny's son, who's um, over in the first season, he's part of Miyagi-Do, but they wanted to put Crease. Uh, as far as face sculpts, uh, Crease looks like Crease, besides the eyeshadow. If you get in on him, Crease, he looks, he looks exactly like him. Uh, articulation you get, you get wrist articulation, elbow, joint, you get shoulder in and out there. You can do a full side kick. The Karate Kid didn't come with any other set of hands and he can't do the full crane kick. I mean, you could do like the, 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 the finishing of it. You could do like the finishing of the crane kick here. So, I don't, I don't know. He looks a little bit like Daniel, bit like the older Daniel. Now Miguel, I mean, to scale, he's not shorter. He's tall, he's just as tall as all the rest of the figures, let's see. So he's not a kid. He's the older Miguel, the new Miguel in the fourth season. But Miguel to me got chunky in the fourth season. I don't know, he just doesn't look like a, a karate kid anymore. But I really do like it. I really do like having the, it's, it's something that's very nostalgic. It's something that's very, some, uh, something that you might look at and say, oh man, should I get that? But if you grew up in the 80s or 90s, this is something that it speaks to your childhood. It speaks to who you were as a child growing up. Everything was martial arts. Everything was karate. Everything was, we got to fight. I mean, we had Power Rangers. We had the Three Ninjas. We had um, uh, Biker Mice from Mars. We had all this stuff as a kid. And then Dragon Ball, then Pokemon. I mean, like the 90s, honestly, to me, is the as far as pop culture, best time to ever have grown up in childhood. I mean, the 80s folks and the 70s folks just swear that Transformers and this, but you gotta think about it. We got the movie, we got the actual movie. We got the live action movie, which wasn't that good, but we got to see them in real life. We got the live action Spider-Man. We got the live action. The 90s was the best time to grow up as a child. You can at me, you can tell you anything you want. I still think it is. I mean, that's my opinion. Um, let's get to the turtles. The turtles are cool. Like I said, they're just the same exact sculpt as this. Playmates did a decent job on each turtle. I like them. Um, the weird thing is Michelangelo has no place to hold his nunchucks under here. These come off the, uh, the doggies. Hold on. They come off pretty easily. And the belt stays attached so you don't have to worry about keeping up with the belt. But... They already mastered their own, you know, their martial arts. So I don't know why they would wear a gi. I mean, I guess to, to have to go with the, um, the Cobra Kai guys, but. Look at that. I mean, turtles have great art articulation. These are so cool because you can pick them up. You can do a lot of cool customs with them. Uh, Raphael's the same way. Um, they don't want you to untie it. There's a little thing there, but if you pop it, it comes right off. So I don't know how I'm gonna display them. I might display them with the gi. I might not. Look at that. <laughs> these are cool to me and they got good weight. They got, these have awesome articulation. I said it before in the previous video, the articulation in the turtles, ooh foot popped off is dope. I mean, you turtles can get all the way down in a stance like this. I mean, come on. You just gotta love that. You gotta love that. Once again, I think when Raphael and them come out on the other, on this, on this set, hopefully they'll have a spot to hold his side and uh, Michelangelo's nunchaku, but it seems like just lazy design on that right there because Donatello and Leonardo both have the things to hold their weapons. But what do you do with Michelangelo and Raphael's weapons? You stick them in the side of the shell. I mean, you just gotta have them to the side. That's lazy. That's lazy toy making. Lazy toy making. Love the articulation, love these, love the way that they look. Leo's my favorite turtle. Michelangelo was my favorite turtle as a kid. Um, I actually just, watch Ninja Turtles. I mean, my family watched Ninja Turtles one and two. We've been watching a lot of 90s movies lately. 
Um, we watched D3 Mighty Ducks and D2 and D1. We watched all three uh, Mighty Ducks movies. And I was just like, man, move, they don't make movies the same anymore. They don't make them where, you know, they teach a lesson. You know, the kids movies, they, the, the kids movies that come out today, if it's not a cartoon, it's not a kids movie. It's some stupid fart joke movie. And I have a problem with that because watching these movies this past weekend, I was able to see that like teamwork, team building, honoring one another. Uh, there was not a whole lot of discrimination in 90s movies. I mean, it, it, it just looks like you, if you look at like the Mighty Ducks, like we just finished watching, I know I'm going off on a tangent, the Mighty Ducks that we were just finished watching, you got Kenan Thompson, you got um, the dude from Empire, uh, Jesse Smollett, you got so many young superstars coming up. You got Danny Tamborelli from Pete and Pete, you got uh, it's just, just the dude from Dawson's Creek, I don't know his name, my wife knew his name, I have no idea who he is, but yeah, I mean, 90s to me best time to be a child best time to grow up best time for pop culture because right now all they're doing is just like oh man the 90s is good let's what can we go from the 90s and remake it best time so i love it i love these figures if you are a collector of turtles i'd say pick them up um i don't know how i'm gonna display them i mean look at that that is so cool now if i could get it to stand up the shell is heavy so I use um, like figure glue, but like, I mean figure putty on the feet so they can um, stand up. But that, that pose right there, if I could have did that as a kid, man, these are definitely a must buy. Um, if you already have these, they're the same exact turtles. Uh, so I don't know what I would do. I use belts, excuse me. <laughs> but you know, I love it. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.